So I have a question. Do you think that the best places to live in the world is the Muslim world? No, no I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you looking for? It, you know, it depends on what you like. I don't know. I don't know much about like I've been to I've been to Dubai, but I wouldn't yeah. say that that can't be. I wouldn't imagine that's like what you think of when you think of the Muslim world. Because I guess when I was thinking about this through mm. a couple of years ago, my thought again is God would make countries that where if you follow him, this is where people want to go. Mm. And it seems mm. like see, that's more, more of Christian nations are that. Mm. Some would argue that like that the West is like terrible. And I, I could see where they're coming from. But I, I think where you find the best places to be is where people are going. Look, um, the assumption is wrong because the assumption mm-hmm. is the more money you have, the more right you are. Mm-hmm. Effectively, that's what the assumption is. If you think about it. No, I wouldn't put it to money alone okay. because the then, your then you, could, you could look at like um, GDP per capita, I think mm-hmm. in Singapore would be high. I do think people go there, but I, I still wouldn't say... It's like people well, want to go. So what, what, which ones should we look at? What, what material, should we say material conditions? If the material no, conditions I, are better. I, I wouldn't say material conditions. Okay. I, I would say if I was God, this is just how I think sure, about sure. it. I'm not saying this is no, no, like no. a scholar level. No, this no, is just how you. I think. I would think that the places that follow God mm-hmm. and what God wants, mm-hmm. those would be the places where people want to go. It's not necessarily about material possessions okay. because I don't I don't think it's based on income alone. What is it based on then? Where people maybe have the highest quality of life, but that do you, doesn't but that yeah. doesn't mean income. How do you um assess that? I would say that you can find the best places to live by looking where people are immigrating to. Okay. And in my lifetime, it's always like people like mm. it didn't because my dad, he mm. hired people from around. The, like he had an office in India. Sure. Like we kind of grew up like traveling the world. I had nannies from around the world mm. and people always wanted to come to America, maybe the UK. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, but here's what I, would I think say. Dubai is a new one. So, yeah. you know, you could argue Dubai. But... Look, here's what I'll say to you, Pali. Look, um, the reason why people go to different countries, mm-hmm. probably the most like the biggest reason mm. is because of economics. Like people don't travel from the Muslim world or parts of the Muslim world to go to, let's say the West, mm. just because the West has tall buildings and cleaner streets. Mm-hmm. Although that's changing now. They do so because there's more money to be made here mm-hmm. and they can help their tribe and their family, et cetera, et cetera. And that's happening now in the reverse. You've mentioned Dubai. If you look at the top 10 countries GDP per capita, four of them are Muslim, in fact. Mm-hmm. So you've got Kuwait, you've got Qatar, you've got obviously the UAE. And Brunei, so that's four out of ten, uh, according to World Population Review, uh, which is a website that tracks this kind of things, so, mm. right? So a lot of you know Westerners are going to to those places. It, it, what I'm saying is that the reason why people move anywhere, or the main reason it seems to me, is because of economics. But the assumption is, um, okay, well, where the material conditions are better, mm-hmm. that would indicate that the truth is there. Mm-hmm. But that if that was true, then Jesus would be the biggest falsehood because he he lived an impoverished life. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't really be money alone. Yeah. I, when I say quality of life, yeah. um, I, I I think of like low crime. I think of like like nice place oh, to London live. London has got a very high. No, crime. no, no, and that's that's what I think. Like mm. when the U.S. and the U.K. have fallen like away from its Christian values, it's kind of sure. gone to shit. Well, look, <laughs> so, at, yeah. you know, no, but and I think less people have wanted. I would say, well, yeah. I guess it, it let's look at the now. Christian yeah. world because the demographic heartland of Christianity now seems to at mm-hmm. least move in the direction of Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, in fact, according to uh, Pew Research. Mm-hmm. London and the UK is not a Christian country anymore by yeah, population. Yeah. It's 40% now. It's gone below the, the, the threshold. Right. Where you'll find most Christians in the world is sub-Saharan Africa. And the material conditions there, pound mm-hmm. for pound, are probably less than the Muslim world. Mm-hmm. Uh, another place, which is, you could say, another chunk of demographic heartland, you could say, for Christianity is uh, Latin America. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't consider that to be a great place for people to want to emigrate or something like that mm-hmm. is, uh, in terms of economic conditions. Mm-hmm. The reason why these countries, or it seems to me like the biggest reason why these countries, Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, parts of the Middle East, mm-hmm. are in a similar position economically, it seems to me because of colonialism. That is the most recent thing that's happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, so obviously now they have to build their countries up. Some of, some have, like if you look at Rwanda, Rwanda is a beautiful example. Go to Rwanda, it looks like one of the cleanest countries you've ever go to in your life. Mm-hmm. It's in Africa. 
because they had the the crisis, the right, the genocide there, and so on. They they decided to turn it all around. Mm -hmm. You've got a collection of countries in the Muslim world now that are doing very well. Remember, there's 60 Muslim majority countries, effectively, mm -hmm. right? So I, look, but I guess I guess my question. This is just how mm -hmm. I think as a Westerner we would look at it. Sure. Is like if you know the Islam world produces mm -hmm. such like an amazing you know country or whatever like mm. why why do we have this like mass immigration to come to the west you know because of economic conditions okay so you you think it's a money thing of course it is i mm. mean uh, i can tell you for a fact today yeah. i can tell you that 100 percent hands down it that's the reason mm. why people come to these countries is mm -hmm. because there's there's money in these countries mm -hmm. okay look um uh, gdp and gdp capita employment all these kind of things there's money in these countries they don't they don't come here because they love the weather look look outside look at the weather looks like uh, I can tell you that oh, for a fact, and they don't come here because they, they love the you know the yeah. the quote unquote ideologies of the West. In fact, they probably despise some of those ideologies, mm -hmm. and that's part of the problem that the West has, or right wing people have with Muslim yeah. people or other people come to that countries. Uh, but I would say this: it's like when we say quality of life, we have to be careful here because there is a there's an indicator mm -hmm. in economics called the happy index. Okay. And it puts all these well, Scandinavian countries. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, but if you look at what the Happy Index says itself, if you, there, there are books and even their website. If you go mm -hmm. Happy Index, I think they've changed the name of it. But if you go to their website, mm -hmm. it says this is not a um, this is not a scale of who's happier and who's not. Mm -hmm. they, it's just so called. And mm -hmm. they put different kinds of measures in there, including, but not limited to the HDI, Human Development Index, mm -hmm. Life Expectancy, GDP per capita, et cetera. So that's one thing. The other thing is that actually I came across from a psychological perspective, I came across a study that was done in the University of Munich in 2019 mm. by a woman called Laura Tobin, okay, and mm. others, non-Muslims. And they said that they, they used psychological assessments and questionnaires and so on. And, and in their estimation, the most uh, satisfied people in life are actually Muslim people. Mm -hmm. so this is a non-Muslim, mm. you know, academic study. But So one can use that. But the, the point is, is, I still think I take issue with the premise because the, mm -hmm. the premise suggests that when someone is in a good material condition or they're having a good life or mm -hmm. money is there or let's say standard of living is there, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. that indicates, uh, for example, that that person is in, mm -hmm. in a good position or whatever. Then there are many parts, like, for example, if you look at Islamic history, right? Islam mm -hmm. has been around for 1,400 years. 95% of that time, Islam has either been one of the superpowers or the superpower of the, mm -hmm. of the world. And a lot of that time, for example, you'll find uh, that the European countries has been in the dark ages. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm not. There are some stereotypes someone can make about the European so-called time of the European dark ages, but if you consider from the from the let's say time of uh, uh, 700 AD until 1600, 1700, uh, right? Mm -hmm. This time period of a thousand years, what the West produced mm -hmm. in that time. Compare it with the last 300 years. What they produced in the last 300 years mm -hmm. is much, much more notable than what they produced in the thousand years that preceded that, mm -hmm. in terms of inventions, in terms oh, of their yeah. discoveries, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So this is not, it cannot be said to be an argument for anything. Mm -hmm. And look at Japan. Japan is a country that has got their own culture. They've mm -hmm. got their own uh, traditions and so on. Yeah, they're pretty atheist. They're developing, though. yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So if it's not about Christianity because Christianity mm -hmm. is, not, is not there in Japan. Mm -hmm. So there are so many counter counter examples mm -hmm. that the point doesn't Do you feel like people land. are like dying to go to japan maybe maybe they are i don't know I, uh, immigration's just, gone up but once again it's yeah, um, just when i looked at like immigrate mm. i haven't recently so this sure. was this was like years ago yeah but um like i i didn't remember japan being that high oh okay you know i know i understand what it might be yeah, yeah no, no <laughs> people want to come to the west now yeah. because the west has money mm -hmm. not all the west Greece, for example, doesn't have that much money. Mm -hmm. Spain doesn't have that compared to, uh, you know, Scandinavian countries per capita, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, those countries are more, more connected to or comparable to countries oh. in the Middle East.